This is Tank's Vlog, April 24th, 2017, wrapping up the day in sports. The NBA was, the NHL was off today with their playoff series all concluded. The second round will be beginning Wednesday. But that doesn't mean that there was no news out of the NHL. Apparently, Ilya Kovalchuk, after spending four years in Russia, now wants to come back to the NHL. Imagine that. Well, la de freaking da The way he screwed the Devils over, the Devils should never, never allow him back in the NHL. And if they do, the only way they do is if he comes crawling back and begging. And you know what? The Devils shouldn't even allow him back. They should trade his rights. Who cares? This Mama Luke screwed this team up. Oh, Ilya Kovalchuk, oh, he makes my blood boil. I tell you what, if he does come back and he does get on the ice again, I don't care what team he plays for. I don't care. The Devils need to get something for him. I don't want to see him in a Devil uniform. He screwed us over. He screwed his team over. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And the Devils, they'll be, they must be ashamed of themselves if they allow this guy to wear their uniform again. To tarnish the great NJ in red. And I tell you this, when he does step on the ice against the Devils, the Devils need to sign Doug Glatt, Ogi Ogledorp, and just go to town on him. The Hanson brothers, I don't care. Whoever it is, drive him into glass, make him taste glass. I mean, if he goes off dizzy and, well, he is dizzy anyway, but whoever drives him in, I mean, I'm talking Scott Stevens, come out of retirement, please. Do a Eric Lindros number on him, please. I never want to see Ilya Kovalchuk on the ice again in a devil uniform. <sighs> Ugh. He makes my skin crawl what he did to the Devils. Yeah, the Devils' big mistake was signing him that big contract. Because one, it, it screwed him with the cap. Two, they lost a the draft pick. And then they couldn't sign Zach Parisi. They should have focused on keeping Parisi and not this jackass. He was never a devil. He was always an Atlanta thrasher. He's an Atlanta thrasher. I mean, there's a team to remember. The Atlanta thrashers. Ugh. Kovalchuk. Stay in Russia, please. The Mets and Yankees were both off. Uh, baseball was kind of a let down day. Uh, thank God the Mets are off. I don't think I could have could watch this team today. It's just so sickening how they're playing. I mean, I heard they went to uh, on their off day. They all went to uh, Great Neck, New York, and uh, played a little league team. And Little Rocco Petrucci no hit them. Uh, they got to start hitting. And please, stay healthy, for Christ's sake. Hire a trainer that knows how to keep people healthy, please. With no uh, hockey, no uh, local baseball, no interesting baseball today, I should actually say. Um, we have to focus on the NBA. And uh, the Toronto Raptors, they took a 3-2 series lead against the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. So I guess they no longer fear the deer. Although I think the uh, Bucks will come back and take Game Six, and that's going to be a seven-game series. Uh, also today, the uh, Hawks evened up their series against the Washington Wizards. That's been a complete home court series. I see that trend continuing. The Wizards uh, will probably win Game Five. The Hawks will probably win Game Six, and that will probably also go to Game Seven. Uh, most of these NBA series have actually been rather competitive, except for a few notable exceptions. Uh, I'm looking at you, Indiana. Yeah, nice car. Nice car, Larry Bird. Is that the car that broke down for the Pacers? Yeah. Right. And uh, this game going on right here that's just wrapping up here today is the uh, Warriors prolaxing the uh, Portland Trailblazers. I mean, in this game, Portland has really put the trail in Trailblazers. I mean, how about showing up for an elimination game, for Christ's sake? I mean, the Warriors don't even have their coach on the bench. And you've been down 30 the whole game. Seriously. I mean, the, the Warriors could, uh, all five Warriors could walk off the floor right now. They could put uh, 12 year olds on the floor in their uniforms and it, it wouldn't make a difference. The game is over. Nice effort, Portland. See you next year. Well, it wraps up my second tank vlog. Uh, like I said, I hope to get them done regularly. I'm not promising every day, but I'll try. And uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything, just direct a message to me. I'll give you a shout out. Uh, so email me. Give me suggestions of three stars, birthdays. Uh, Stephen Curry, I I assume uh, he's going to be number one star today. The way he just pro-waxed 
the Blazers out there. I mean, he's just going off. It's just, it's just ridiculous. See you next year, Portland, as I said. And for all our fans, see you tomorrow.